So let us try and solve question number 10 from IE Kirito of Mathematics. So we have two bodies which are thrown from the point O, which is my origin, and one body is thrown straight up, which is my y axis, and one body is given a velocity at an angle theta from the horizontal. So body B is actually projectile motion. Okay, so we need to find out the distance between these two bodies let's say after t is equal to 1.7 seconds so this is a very simple question so we will just find out the displacement along the x and y axis for both the bodies so first is let's say for body a so body a only has a vertical component so So for so the x coordinate for a is always zero. Okay. Now the y coordinate for a is given by so the initial velocity given to both the bodies is v naught. Okay. So the y coordinate for a will change according to the equation. Y is equal to v naught into t minus half into g into t square because this is my positive value. Acceleration due to gravity g is down. Okay, so this is the these two equations tell me the motion of A in the plane. And for motion of B, we have the x coordinate will be given by v naught cos theta multiplied by t, and the y coordinate will be given by so v naught sin theta into t minus half g into t square ok so now I need to find out what is this ok so this will be what so this will be this distance so this distance is actually the coordinate of point b is this and coordinate of point A is this and coordinate of point B is this along the y axis. So what will be the distance S between the two points is equal to under root of x b square plus y a minus y b whole square. As simple as that. So when we plug this value, what do we get? V naught square cos square theta t square plus y a minus y b. So half t t square they get cancelled and v naught t comes out, so it becomes v naught square t square and y a minus y b. So this would be one minus sin theta. Whole square. So the y minus y whole square. So now, if I solve this, what will happen? V not v not t. I can take it out. Okay, because it is square. So v not t square and v not square t square it comes out of the square root. And inside I have cos square theta plus. Let's open this one. Plus sine square theta minus 2 sine theta. So if I solve this, I get v naught t under root 2 1 minus sine theta. So this is the distance between the point at any instant after the throw. So now if you plug the values of v naught t and theta, you should be able to find out the distance between the two bodies.